Hey, what's up you guys? It's Olivia and today I'm filming my first bookshelf tour ever, so I'm pretty excited about that. But I originally wasn't going to do this yet because I'm still getting some books this month that I've already read and haven't put on my shelf yet, but I woke up this morning with this monster on my face, which I don't know if you noticed until now, but you probably did because, well, I know how much I paid for my camera and I was like, I want to film a video today. What can I do without them having to look at my face? And so bookshelf tour it was. Also my hair is a mess. Today was the first nice day we've had all spring and I drove around with the windows down like all day and I probably should have put it, like redid my hair before I did this but that just didn't happen. Also I've never done a bookshelf tour before so sorry if this comes out poorly or if I don't do it right. I don't really know what I'm doing and how this all works, but I'm gonna try. This is really close to my face. I'm like vlogging style right now. But first thing, I'm just gonna show you a overview of my shelf. This is one of my three shelves. You can see one behind me and there's another one back there that's my TBR shelf. This one eventually is just gonna be a all hardcover shelf, but at the moment it is not that. But this is my main bookshelf and that's the one I'm going to be showing you today. So here's the overview. Okay, so at the top we have my Harry Potter, and then going down we have either standalones or books and series that I only have one of, and then this is a blank shelf that I will eventually continue on my standalone section. And then the bottom two shelves are my series shelves, and in the bottom right corner are some of the books off my TBR shelf that I want to read really soon. Alright, so that was the overview of my shelves. And now I'm going to go into detail. Enjoy! This is as high as my tripod will go, but this is my Harry Potter shelf, as you can tell. And besides Harry Potter, I have my journal. Oop, I knocked my beads over. I'll probably sort that out later because they're a pain to get to stay on here. And I have this book, and it's not actually a book, it's like something my friends and I did when we were in middle school and we had our state standardized tests and we wrote notes and we all had a color-coded marker that was like our color and that's what we wrote our notes in and I was elected to keep it so I have that on my shelf as for the decorations up here I just have a blue bandana blue I guess like Mardi Gras beads and blue sunglasses those are from back in February when my school had school spirit week and my class color was blue so on the last day we all wore blue and wore a lot of games, wore a lot of games, played a lot of games and up here I have a card that was from one of my friends that almost made me cry so it means a lot to me so I have it up there. I'm not going to pull all of these out because I'm assuming you know what the Harry Potter covers look like but this set is the original set of all the books that I read. This is a new hardcover set that I got from, my friend gave it to me for my birthday. It was something they had in their house and they were going to get rid of it to the, like, give it to the Salvation Army. And she knew how much I loved them, so she asked me if I wanted them. And I told my parents that I was eventually going to get them all in hardcover in decent condition. And I think only these two or these three have actually been read in that set, so that's pretty nice. And then this is the new paperback set that my parents got me for Christmas. So, moving down. So this is my standalone shelf and I'm starting to realize that this lighting isn't ideal and you can see my shadow and I apologize about this but for I couldn't get the whole shelf in the shot too so this is half of it right now. But I tried to color coordinate it. I haven't perfected it yet and for the sake of this video I put all of the blue ones in a pile just so all of these books would be on one shelf and we wouldn't have to go onto the other shelf for just like two or three books. So, but let's get started. National Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. Paper Towns by John Green. Ooh. Drums, Girls, and Dangerous Pie by Jordan Sonnenblick. The Giver by Lois Lowry. The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider.
This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Alice in Tumblrland and Other Fairy Tales for a New Generation by Jim Manley. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabotsky. Winger by Andrew Smith. My True Love Gave to Me. 12 Holiday Stories edited by Stephanie Perkins. For A Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin O'Leary Sands. Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. It's kind of depressing that I only have this book in the trilogy. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I've watched this video trailer like maybe 40 times since it came out last week. Wonder by RJ Palacio. Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. And my dust jacket to the Fault in Our Stars because my mom has had the book for like almost a year now and she still hasn't read it. I'm probably gonna steal it back later. Okay now I've moved on to like the purple going into the black section. This is the section I haven't really perfected yet and I'm still trying to figure out how to do this rainbow shelf thing. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Alienated by Melissa Landers. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. This is absolutely one of my favorite books. The Arithmetist by Brandon Sanderson. 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstead. Sick by Tom Levine. The Diviners by Libba Bray. And the Collector's Edition of Looking for Alaska by John Green. I don't think my camera is completely level, so sorry about that. But on this shelf, I just mostly have decorations. These three books are... Um, gonna be in my next haul video, so I'm not showing them to you. And the one on the top is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, because I started this back in March, but it was in the middle of when I was doing Wizard of Oz, and I didn't have time, and I feel like it's just a book that you need to be able to sit down and read for a few hours at a time, and I didn't have that time, so I put it down. But besides that, I have a Captain America bobblehead, that I bought when I bought these three books and I now want a collection of all of them. I looked at every single one that they had on their website and I want them all. In the back, I have a... It says Salinas, California and it has the latitude and longitude. And my mom got these for my family two Christmases ago, I think. And she got them with all of our birthplaces on them. And funny story, she got my dad's wrong, which I think is hilarious. Moving over to this end of the shelf, I have a picture of me and my best friend Natalie, and oh, the picture that was on the other side is me and my best friend Natalie and my little sister Riley before the One Direction and Five Seconds of Summer concert we went to over the summer. So over here I have some graphic novels and comic books and an old Iron Man phone case that I used when I had an iPhone 4, but it doesn't fit my 5. So first I have the first three volumes of Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples, and they're out of order on my shelf. The first one was the second, this is the third, and this is the first. So let's fix that. And the comics I have are Thor. The <laughs> These are so hard to see because they're in plastic and there's a glare, I'm sorry. Thor, the God of Thunder, Batman volume one. The Avengers on Late Night with David Letterman, Superior Superior Iron Man, and just regular Iron Man. I realize those were really hard to see, but I don't really have a good way of doing it. And in this binder I have the Charlie Brown script from when I was a sophomore and the Wizard of Oz script from this year, which I'm pretty sure you're supposed to throw them out after you no longer use them, but I am very clearly breaking that rule. This shelf is my series shelf, and I've arranged this in alphabetical order. This is the second to last shelf, so we're almost there, guys. Thank you for hanging hanging in there with me and not just completely abandoning this video. But I'm behind my camera right now, so I don't know how awkward it is going to be to show you these books or what my voice sounds like, so sorry if it's loud, and apologies if you can't hear me that well, but... Let's get started. The first book I have on this shelf is The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. Also, I understand you probably can't see the bottoms of these books very well, but this is as low as my tripod goes. 
The next book is the collector's edition of Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, and this is the third book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. Next I have City of Lost Souls, which is the fifth book in the Mortal Instruments series, and City of Heavenly Fire, which is the seventh, or sixth. I always think there's seven. I think I go all Harry Potter on it. Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, I need to take that sticker off. City of Fallen Angels, all by Cassandra Clare. Battle Hunters and Downworlders, a Mortal Instruments reader, edited by Cassandra Clare. I have no idea who this is by. Moving on, I next have a box set. So these are The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure, all by James Dashner. Next, I have If I Stay and Where She Went, both by Gail Foreman. Unite Me, Destroy Me, and Fracture Me. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me, all by Tara Mafi. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel. And Hollow City, all by Ransom Riggs. The art in the graphic novel is by Cassandra Jean, since I didn't state that the first time. The Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, and The Battle of the Labyrinth, all by Rick Riordan. From The Last Olympian up until The House of Hades, which is the book I'm on now, I have been borrowing them from a friend, but I am going to buy them shortly, but until then... <laughs> This part of my bookshelf is kind of a mess and always falling over on each other. Alright, this is the last shelf. I am sorry that the angle is so awkward, but I just have this stacked on some books because it wasn't going to happen any other way, so sorry I don't have the whole shelf in shot and that it's a pretty crappy shot. Batter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters, all by Lainey Taylor. The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea, both by Rick Yancey. Also, I have this thing. My mom bought it for me when she bought me the book 1984 for a school project. And it's just like a little thing. She actually put 1984 inside of it, but it says she is too fond of books and it has turned her brain. And it's just like a little pouch, oversized pencil case thing. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to use it for yet. So I just have it on my bookshelf. Alright, this section of my shelf is just a bunch of TBR books that I moved over here because I want to read them sometime in the future. So I'm just going to show you these and comment down below which ones I should read once I finish The Heroes of Olympus. Noggin by John Corey Whaley, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Also I have the movie cover and I really, really hate it. I want to read this soon and if I like it as much as I think I'm going to, I'm just going to buy the hardcover. Six Months Later by Natalie D. Richards. The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfield. This book is so tall you can't see the whole thing. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. H2O by Virginia Bergen. 100 Sideways Miles by Andrew Smith. The Darkest Minds and Never Fade by Alexander Bracken. So in the corner I have two comic books that I haven't read yet. And they're The Justice League Volume 1 and Batman and Robin Volume 1. Ah! Alright, that's probably not something that I should be doing with this huge thing on my face. Yeah, my mom told me it was the biggest one I've had and she's going to name it Bud. But I think I'm leaning more toward Janus or like Janus. I don't know how you say it. He's one of the Greek gods that's in the Percy Jackson series. And he's like the god of decisions or something. I'm not sure what his actual title is. But Percy meets him in the labyrinth. And all I know is, all I'm basing this name off of is that the guy has two heads. And that's how I feel. But we're off topic was a video that is already way too long. So I'm filming like this vlog style because I forgot to film this once I, and before I made my tripod smaller. What are words? My arm? This camera is heavy. But here, let's put it on my, no, I don't want you to see my messy room. Let's do this because this is less heavy. All right, so <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm extremely out of focus right now. I'm so sorry, but thank you for watching. And if you know you stuck, I can't do it like this. If you stuck until the end of the video, 
like bless your soul because all I was thinking while I was filming this was wow I really stink at this and wow this is totally not the right lens to be doing this with not that I really have any other choices so if you're still here I think you are a lovely person and I hope that you get all of the books you desire in life and yeah I'll see you all soon with another video bye